What's up everyone welcome to Kitu blogging and in this video I will show you how you can optimize your images in WordPress like suppose you have 10,000 images on your WordPress website and you want to optimize those images but how you can do that but if you go for plugins like Imagify or Ipsort Pixels or Tiny PNG they have their limitations like you can optimize all of your images for free but what if I tell you that you can optimize all of your 10,000 or 20,000 whatever be the number you can optimize all of your images for free and serve in WebP format which is a next gen format developed by Google which will automatically reduce the total page size of your website. As you know page speed is a ranking factor and you need to optimize your images to load your website faster. So let's check how you can optimize your images in WordPress. So for this what I can do is I will go to the plugin section and I will click on add new plugin here. And here we need to install a plugin called converter for media. So let me simply search for it and it will show up the plugin converter for media convert webp and abif format by matt plugins so let me quickly install this plugin so this is a free plugin and it will optimize all of your images and sorp in webp format so let's activate this plugin here and as you can see that the plugin is activated now let's go to the plugin here and here you will see a screen like this so first of all we need to click on the advanced settings here and here you can select the supported file extensions so i will select the zip file as well and here you can see the conversion methods like you can convert it through imagic or gd but this one is not enabled in my server that's why it is not clickable in my website but if your server support that you can select that as well and here you can image loading method whether you want to load your images by HD access or bypassing through Nginx or pass through without rewriting HTTX file. So there are various methods to load images on your front end of your website. But here I will select the default method by HTTX and here let's click on this option. So let's save converted images in backups generated by other plugins. So I will select this option and let's hit the save changes then i will click on the general setting here and here you will see this option conversion so whether you want to optimize your images or you want to do if you don't want to compromise your image quality then you can select the lossless method or you can select this option but if you want to reduce the image size as low as possible then you can select the lossy method but I prefer to set it as optimal because it will both reduce the size and maintain the quality. And here you can click on save changes here. Now let's scroll down and here you will see the total number of images of your website. And here let's click on start bulk optimization and it will start optimizing your images with a single click. And as you can see that it is optimizing all of our images and it has saved around 1.34 MB now. So let's wait for this process to complete. And as you can see that the conversion method is very fast and it will depend on the server as well. How fast your server is, it depends on that as well. So I think it is almost completed now. So let's wait. All right. And as you can see that it has converted 403 images very quickly. And let me go to the media library here. And as you can see that the images are now optimized and the original size of this image was 135 KB but now it is reduced to 109 KB and it has optimized all of the images within this like whenever you upload an image WordPress create a um, version of those images for different screen sizes and it will optimize all of the images. And you can see the page size reduced from 86 KB to 72 KB. And you can also further reduce the size of the image by choosing the lossy method instead of the optimal method. And as you can see that it has not optimized the web current WebP images. But if you still want to optimize those WebP images as well, then you can simply go to the settings, go to the converter for media. And here you need to select this option force the conversion of all images again and it will also optimize the web images of your website. 
so this is how you can optimize around 10000 or 20000 or a lot of images for free and serve it in webp format in your website and you don't need to go for any paid plugins like short pixel or imagefy or tiny png so you can simply use the converter for media to optimize your images in wordpress so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this then do let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next one bye bye